Welcome back to another look. Here we have a robot cyborg kind of femme look. This was a lot of fun to create, so we're gonna hop right in with a step-by-step -step if you wanna do something like this too. Step one, primer. I have a little bit of red dots and some breakouts I'm experiencing as we change seasons, so I'm just color correcting with a bit of green here before applying my foundation all over. I'm gonna dab in some powder underneath the eyes and move on to my brows. We're gonna put a wax through the hairs and brush them through. And then we will apply some colored powder to fill in the spaces and deepen and darken for the look I'm going for today. When we apply our eye base, I like to start underneath the brow to sharpen those edges, catch any fall off, and then I will blend that eye base down to all over my lid and my inner corner where we're going to have some more details in this look. Once the brows are done, I go in with a translucent powder to set the entire face. Then we're gonna start getting our eyeliner, which is a very dramatic, wide, long, winged liner. And I outline both sides and quickly realized that they're completely uneven. One goes up and one goes out to the sides. We're just gonna go in and fix that. Add a little bit of micellar cleanser to a Q-tip and wipe it away. Now we have free space to completely redesign this wing. As we know, matching wings is hard to do. They're more like cousins or sisters than twins. I'm gonna start off with a bit of a foxy liner here by just bringing down that inner corner before we do some of our detail work to start this cyborg look. My goal here is to create a hexagon underneath my eye. So just going in with the detailed edges here. Okay, easy enough. Let's get that on the other side. And they're completely different sizes. Great. Measure twice, cut once, Renee, okay. Same micellar cleanser on a Q-tip to fix that up, and then we'll even out those hexagons. Ah, much better. And we'll go ahead and fill in that gap with white and get started on another detail work above the eyes. Just following the curve above my lid and finishing that off with a swoop that kind of matches the, and is parallel to my winged liner. starting to feel the stress of this look with the amount of crisp, sharp edges that I need. It took a lot of effort to do the one side. I was prepping myself and praying for the second. I frequently used lots of Q-tips and lots of micellar cleanser to touch up those lines. I then realized I wanted to darken the brows, so I went ahead and did so. Now we're going to attempt to draw a completely straight line across our face. Let's see how it plays out. That looks terrible. Yep. 
I did lots of edits and repairs to get this line as straight as I could, but after a while, I just decided to move on. Reminder that I am using a gel liner, little black dressed with a small detail brush, angled detail brush, to do all of this line work. It's one of my favorite ways because it's very pigmented and stays in place. Now we're kind of following our cheekbone structure for these lines here that we're going to be able to see through and see into. Decided I didn't really like the shape for this, so I went ahead and touched that up. And you guessed it, use some micellar cleanser and a Q-tip to get rid of that line we don't want anymore. And to match it on the other side. I think that was the most difficult part with a lot of this and this entire look is that everything was so precise. There was no shading and blending to hide behind and machines in general are symmetrical. And we'll go ahead and fill this in with black paint to create that negative space of you looking into the head of the cyborg. This is about the time that I realized that I don't know how to draw a cogwheel and just making some other details like screws and other mechanical features. I went in with my liquid black liner to kind of create some of the details and define those edges of the structures. I mapped out my red lines with a lip liner. And for the blue, I have a blue liquid liner that I love and just drew them right in. And to make those red ones pop, I went in with a hot pink liquid lipstick and went over those same red lines. I finalized this segment with some white wires and some highlights to the wires to just kind of make things pop out from that black background. I wanted to fill in my little hexagons with some blue paint and decided I wanted to outline them with that blue liner as well. I love working with the angled detail brush, but working with the liner really worked for me and gave me that precise control that I think I needed specifically for this look because the liner brush, the liquid liner brush is obviously much smaller than the angled brush. So I could get the sharp pigmented lines I was looking for. Adding a couple of smaller details here also adding shading and highlight with the black and white accordingly. You can see I'm using that same black liquid liner to define some of these edges as our final touches. My favorite mascara ties it all together. Let's black out those lips. Using a coal pencil eyeliner and going back in with my gel liner. It's all in the details. And the last thing we're gonna do is just block off our neck here. A little black choker, or maybe the segment of where the head is attached to the body. And the final look. Okay, so here it is. 
It's definitely more difficult than I thought it was going to be because of the straight and sharp lines it made it really difficult. There was no shading to hide behind or blending to hide behind. It was just pretty precise work and, you know, definitely room for improvement, but I'm happy with where it landed and in the time frame that it's landed in. So this is kind of what we got. If you have any questions for me, be sure to leave a comment. Also check out the video that we did earlier this week, our first Halloween look, and check out some beauty tutorials that we've done in the month past. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and maybe check out mine and my husband's channel as well. We put out new videos every Monday just for the sillies and the giggles. So thank you so much. I appreciate all of you and spread the word. Love you.